Hi, I'm Mike Jackson. I am Secretary of Lesbians and Gay Support the Miners now as I was 35 years ago. Hello, Jim. Hello. Myself and Mike Ashton founded Lesbians and Gay Support the Miners and we also, at LGSM of course, twinned with the mining community in South Wales. So the miners were in desperate struggle and we went to support them in their struggle because unless everybody's free, nobody's free. And so it's no good just fighting for LGBT plus equality. You have at the same time to fight for the equality of everybody. When you think about it, it's quite illogical to actually say, well, I'm gay and I'm into defending the gay community, but I don't care about anything else. It's ludicrous. It's important that if you're defending communities, that you also defend all communities and not just one. And that's one of the reasons, that's the main reason why I'm involved in it. Mark's really important to me. He's had a major effect on, on my life. He hadn't been political when he was a, 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 a young teenager. He went to live with his father for a short while in Bangladesh. And Mark had never seen such poverty as he saw in Bangladesh. That affected him so much that when he came back to Britain, although he carried on being a fun-loving kind of guy, he also started to kind of learn about politics and Mark was the kind of person who, once he decided to do something, it would be absolutely non-stop. So he, he kind of got involved in the, his local community, as well as kind of wider politics. So he kind of, he saw a need to be involved in as much as he possibly could. I think it's great that he's been chosen for LGBT plus History Month. He is an inspiration, and he's a role model, I think, for, for, for a younger generation. And indeed, that's... Since the movie Pride came out, that's what's happened to him. I've met loads of people in the teens and the early 20s who were absolutely besotted with Mark, and that's really touching. And it is the teenagers in particular who really, really have taken the movie Pride to heart. I think that's just so lovely at that age that that is guiding them and influencing them. That's good for a future generation. It's quite heartwarming.